Now, before we leave the topic of system databases, I do want to point out one thing. First of all, you don't see a distribution database here, and you will see that only when you have replication installed and operational. So replication is outside the uh, topic of this course, but just be aware that replication is a tool that you can use to automatically move information from one SQL Server to the other to keep multiple databases in sync with each other, and that uh, distribution database will appear here when replication has been installed. The other one is that you don't see sample databases, and you used to see sample databases with SQL, and for whatever reason, Microsoft has chosen not to install those by default. Now, you can install those, and I'm going to show you how right now. A lot of people like the sample databases. Uh, I use them a lot to try out Transact SQL code and so forth in a safe manner. So what I'm going to do is show you, first of all, go to Start Settings Control Panel, and double-click on Add or Remove Programs. Now, what we're actually going to have to do is modify our SQL Server setup. So I will go into the SQL Server in the Add or Remove Programs and click Change. And I want to change the Workstation Components. And this is on the Component Selection dialog box that came up. And I click Next. And you will notice, and this will make you a little bit uneasy the first time you see it, it's going to go through the process of scanning my computer's configuration, and it looks like it's going to do some massive changes, but it really is going through the setup process just like it did the first time. So you'll notice here it welcomes me to the installation wizard. Uh, don't let that scare you. It's not going to install anything over your databases and lose them or anything. You notice it ran those checks, and now it's going to go through the process of setting up an installation package for me. And as you can see, it's going to compute some requirements and space requirements and so forth. And now we get to our actual change or remove instance. Notice I can remove SQL Server from this machine if that's what I wanted to do. I just want to change some installed components. And notice documentation, samples, and sample databases. Now this is also interesting the way they've done this. They've changed this to where you have, notice the Adventure Work Sample OLTP, Online Transaction Processing Database, and the Data Warehouse Sample. We only want the Online Transaction Processing because we're not going to be working with data warehouses right now. So we click Next. And notice we want to install and attach the sample databases. You could just install them, and you'll have to manually attach them to make them work. We will just install and attach. And so now it says it has enough information to start. You will need to be aware that we have to input the disk number two, uh, the tools disk that comes with your uh, SQL 2005 setup. You'll get two disks, disk one and disk two. The standard install will work just fine off the first one but uh, this is going to require disk 2. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to sit and watch this status bar pane across here, and I'll be back uh, as soon as we finish. Okay, the process of installing those sample databases probably took about seven or eight minutes, so it's not going to be a real quick one for you. But notice it says the setup is finished, and so I just finish out, close out of my uh, control panel, then I'm going to go back into my Management Studio, and let's take a look at what we got for our trouble there. Now, if you'll notice, if I expand Databases now, you'll see AdventureWorks. Now, this is something else. We didn't get the old Pubs database. We did get AdventureWorks. It's a little different. You'll also notice it's using schemas. Uh, on the various tables and so forth. So anyway, that's how to install the sample databases if you would like them.